Welcome back, guys. We're continuing our trek through the Burnt Tower in our LP of Pokemon Gold. I almost said our LP of Let's Play. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Mike Justin. I am your host for Screwed Loose Media. Where I offer up more than just games. I offer a variety of different stuff. Entertaining videos. Hope you guys will check out. Hope you're enjoying. But yeah, we're going through the Burnt Tower right now to try to find some legendary Pokemon. Go up to see on some legendaries. Let me try to capture this guy. Actually, he's coughing here. Poison gas Pokemon. Oh crap. I'm right in my team there too, apparently. <laughs> hey, Dick. Oh, I love Charmeleon, Charmander Evolution. Old school, but still badass. Right. Razor Leaf, yeah. <laughs> Get out! Synthesis. This is a pretty good move. What to get rid of though? Oof. Oh. Oh, that's tough. Damn, this is where it gets tough trying to get rid of moves you really want. Poison powder. I can teach another poison move. Maybe toxic later on. That's a handy move though. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Snappy. Nah. Just kidding. <sighs> Excuse me, I was gonna say for so really interrupted, drop down this hole here. <laughs> We're gonna find the three legendary Pokemon. Approach the three legendary Pokemon, the three legendary dogs, Raikou, Suicune, and Entei, they will flee off into the wild. Where if you're lucky enough, you can encounter them. They each come to you at level 40. And have pretty freaking strong moves. And they have a lot of nasty techniques up their sleeves, like roar, that will get rid of your Pokemon and force you to end the battle. So you need to have a good strategy in mind when you go to pursue and capture them, because they are quite the pain in the ass to capture. That's pretty much all you have to do in the Burnt Towers, is find the legendaries and release them to the wild. And then they'll run amok throughout the, uh, the Johto region. Like I said, the first time encountering them is all chance. So it definitely takes some patience hunting them down. So there's one other Pokemon I'm gonna try to search for, and if it gets too much of a pain in the butt, I'll just cut scene, I guess. But maybe not, though. I'm looking for a Magmar. Yep, that's right. Let's hope I can capture this guy. That's the first time I've fainted right there.
Ugh, alright. That definitely takes some time, probably. Need to whittle them down a little bit more. Trying to make this a 10 year capture. Yes, alright. Magmar is going to be my fire type, guys. But the plan for him is to go ahead and hatch him from an egg. Because I'm a stickler for raising my guys at their youngest possible level. <laughs> so I might just cutscene from when I get back to Goldenrod, because I'm going to go ahead and drop him off the daycare center and get an egg. And unfortunately, you have to wait for an egg to hatch before you can actually get it, you have to actually wait for the two Pokemon to breed first and then get the egg from the old man, so that takes a while in itself, so it definitely takes a long time for breeding to actually work for you, but when it does, it's worth the wait. Alright, so I'm probably going to cut here guys, so I'll see you soon. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Sorry about that. I finally caught that Magmar. And I'm going to go ahead and leave him with a daycare couple for a while until they hatch an egg and I'm going to get me a Magby. Alright, so I'm not quite ready to take on the gym leader yet. This is the gym, Morty, who has ghost types. I'm going to go and do a little bit of uh, level training and Pokemon catching. If you go east here, Route 38 to Alvine City. One more thing I have to do before I can start going forward, and I'll sh shed some info on that for you guys in a bit. Go left here, get another berry out of the tree here. Go and scoop him up. I'm dodging some trainers. I'm trying to save them for later until I hatch some of my other baby Pokemon. 
So I'm taking a little bit of a shortcut right now to Alvon City. We're not quite ready to go here, but I need to find me one of the fishing rods from the city. Here comes our rival again from the gym. So yeah, the gym leader for Olivine City is at the lighthouse, taking care of a sick Pokemon. We'll find out more about that a little bit later. First thing I'm going to do is get me a different fishing rod, which I think you can get from this guy. Yep. So now I'm going to get a good rod, because with the old rod, all we can get are a freaking magic carp, and they can't surf. So... So that, it's going to stop in the Pokemon Center just to see you've been there. All right. So now I'm going to try to capture a water type that can surf because what I'm planning to do is I need a Pokemon that can surf on that pond in the Ilex Forest because I'm going to capture a Psyduck there. And he's going to be my water type. Yep, that's my plan. If I can get a freaking nibble. So what's going to happen, guys, is I'm going to probably do a lot of uh, cutscenes here because I'm going to have to wait for two eggs to hatch, and that's going to be a lot of wandering around, essentially. Kind of doing nothing. <laughs> so I could probably go around and do some side quests or something while I'm waiting for my eggs to hatch. But yeah, I'm going to have a Magby soon. I'm going to level him up to a Magmar. And I'm going to get a uh, my Psyduck. How the fuck did I catch a magic carp on a good on a good rod? That was that was lame. Fix. I need to catch like a tentacle or something of that nature. Okay, so that's done. So I'm not being to talk to him, I'm like in my head right now, I'm in my game head trying to figure out my strategy here. Fuck! No! Not you! I hate when you run past a trainer you, you intend to leave alone for later, but you fucking run past it by accident anyway. <laughs> Why is life so hard? Yeah. Oh, piss off, Pikachu. <laughs> Up here and get a mint berry. This is good, I think, for s curing sleep. And if you go in here, talk to this guy, you'll find out his milk tank are sick and they won't give milk. So, when I said at the beginning of the LP about collecting lots of berries, if you feed them a bunch of berries, they'll get better and healthier and they'll start giving milk. And then you can actually buy milk. The sick milk tank in here, I think it is. Yeah, here we go. 
Cry is weak. I think it takes like seven berries to cure this damn thing, so I'm gonna need hella berries. No time it's gonna get fat. You became a little healthier. Ah, Liz. Fucking whore. <laughs> Alright. I think I got my last one there. Uh, I have no berries yet, alright. So let's go back to Equitique. I to, can't tell who I fought yet, damn it. Nah, nah. Get away. So I'll go through here, I'll cut through here. I'm gonna hit the Pokemon Center guys and save, and then I'm gonna meet you back at Equitique Gym to take on Morty. So go ahead and um, if you're keeping up, like the video, comment away. If you're enjoying it, check out some of my other media as well. I do more than just games. Give me some feedback, some criticisms, let me know what you guys think. If you wanna become a screwball, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.